Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install a Techit Lite server with plugins. As you can see in this new update, they've removed plugin capability. So I'm going to show you how to install a Techit Lite server and get plugins on it. So first, you need to go to this website, technicpack.net slash techitlite. Uh, click on download the Techit Lite server 0.5.7 and it should come as a uh, zip file. Now, what you should do is create a file called my server or whatever you want to call it, and then save your ticket light in there. Uh, now, you also need to download Bucket Forge, the latest stable build from this website over here. Uh, this is the one for Technic Pack, so the last stable build. They release updates almost every day, so shouldn't it should be pretty easy to come by one. Okay, once you've downloaded both of those things and you've saved them into your folder, uh, you need to extract the Techit Lite server. Uh, you might need a program like WinRAR or 7-Zip. You might need to download that. Uh, just extract it to the same folder and it's just quickly extracting that and as we wait uh, the actual turning on the server for the first time might take a little bit of time so when that happens I'll speed it up a bit so just waiting 79, 83, 99 and come on 100 okay uh, now we've got that done as you can see it's created a small folder there with your whole server inside uh, you can delete the zip file now now what you need to do is just click launch to start up your server for the first time okay and now it's running but wait we haven't got plugins onto it yet so as we let it download for the first time ever it'll just download Okay, everyone. Once it's finished downloading, you may have to restart it and stop it a couple of times in case there's a crash error. Now, what you need to do is to go back, get your bucket forge, cut it, and paste it into the cool mods section. Now, you can just create a new folder named plugins. And you can place whatever plugins you want to operate in there. Then you just click launch, and the server will quickly turn on. Uh, for the first time, Bucket Forge will start downloading a couple of files. You'll just have to wait a couple of, well, just a few seconds for that, really. And then you'll be ready to go. Your server's ready. You just have to make sure you port forward your server. I'll be showing you how to do that in another tutorial later. Hey, thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.